Hey everyone, welcome back to Catching Up with the Walkers. Thanks again for taking some time to stop by and spend some the morning with us or whatever time you're joining us. <laughs> yeah, good morning and we are so glad you're here. And we've been getting a couple questions off and on about our Alaska vacation. And I know we said a long time ago that we were going to give you guys a rundown of how much it cost. And today is that day. So if you were looking forward to that, uh, we know we told you it was coming at some point. And we finally took the time to go back and grab some numbers from our flights and our RV rental and our food and different things and got some numbers ready for you guys. So if that's what you've been waiting on, today's your lucky day. And if you're not interested in our Alaskan cost, hopefully you will stick around and maybe you know someone planning to go Alaska or you're just interested in what it would cost. Or you might just see what kind of rabbits we're going to chase today because a lot of times we try to stay on topic, but it doesn't always happen. And it's never my fault. We get off topic a lot. So you can maybe stick around for that. Pure entertainment. And in the name of Alaska, I did pull out the Alaska coffee mug today. I like that mug. Established 1959. That really wasn't that long ago. So been enjoying this Alaska mug and can't wait till the day we go back. But it's probably going to be a little bit based on the numbers that we added up. <laughs> so want to get right into the, yeah. the numbers? I will say every trip, everybody's trip will be different based on where you go, what you want to see. We were very blessed and fortunate to hang out with friends and get to do a lot of things with them. So ours is a little different than um, probably other people's. It could be because also the time of year you go. So yeah. if you go in the peak peak season of the summer vacation, you're going to pay more for your flights. You're going to pay more for your RVs and the destinations like the hotels or if you're going to be staying in something like that would be more expensive too just because the high times supply and demand is um there and we went right before peak season right yeah we went a little bit early in the season so we'll start off our airfare so a family of five uh is what we had we booked about a year in advance and we went in late may to the early june time frame so we went from like the 22nd to the, was the second does that sound right? It does. So I, th I think we left around the 22nd of May and our flights were $478 per person and that was flying through American Airlines. We went from Tulsa to Dallas, Dallas to Anchorage and of course that's the biggest airport in Alaska and the cheapest one to fly in and out of. So that was our flight. So for a family of five it was around 2400 bucks. So I don't know if you um, have an RV and you're interested in driving up there, uh, but now um, when the pandemic is winding down and Canada decides that they want to be friendly again and open their borders up, any of you Canadians out there, I love you. Uh, I'm not saying anything bad, but when they open their borders up. I think up, the Canadians are just as over it as everyone else. Yeah, let us know if you're Other over. than the people in charge. <laughs> but uh, it may be a better deal for you to drive up there. Um, just compared to, I don't know how much um, your fuel and all that. Yeah, RV costs and then the extra time and then the extra money for food while you're traveling. But for us, flying made a lot of sense because we are way down here in well, Oklahoma. Driving that far with three kids made zero sense. <laughs> it wouldn't have, I don't, I don't think it would have happened at this point. That would have been a long, long drive. Yeah. So that's probably one of the biggest costs of our trip was the airfare. Um, we had a little bit of transportation cost from the ta uh, air airport to our RV site, but it was minimal, about um, 40 bucks or 50 bucks total. So not a big deal there. But our next big cost was the RV itself. So renting an RV when you're in Alaska makes sense for a lot of reasons. It is a state that is very RV friendly. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have a uh, RV park to park it at. You don't have to pay the RV fees because it's pretty much... I didn't really see RV parks. You, I saw a few and you would want one like if you needed to use their dump station facilities yeah. or a lot but of you them You can had, find those as well. A lot of them had like Wi-Fi um, mm -hmm. op options 
and I mean they have shower houses and stuff. But most of the people we saw camping and things were just on the side of the road like we did when we went places. Yeah, so you don't have to have it. That's the good thing about the state is you can go all across the state and you can just park it on the side of the road and down by a lake or in nature and you're good to go. Your house is on uh, wheels, yeah. you can take it with you, your fridge, your stove, all that's right there and ready to go. In the area we were at, there were no hotels. There were people had lodges, so like you might drive and every 45 minutes to an hour you might see a lodge, but if it's full, it's full. Um, and so our friend, when we said we were coming, she was like, don't rent a car and plan on hotels. She's like, look into renting an RV and then you can stay wherever you want. You can stay with us or you can stay in our yard. You guys can travel around and come back, whatever you want to do. She's like, but it just makes more sense to do that. And I'm so glad we did. Yeah, really glad because there were no rental cars to be found. And I looked the other day, like how much it would cost to rent a Suburban because we would have had to have a large vehicle. And towards the end of the travel season, uh, I think it was for like uh, late August, I tried to rent one just to see what the price was. And it would have cost us more to rent the RV, I mean the Suburban, than it would our RV for the plus 10 days we were there. Plus you would have had to have somewhere to stay. Yeah, plus you <laughs> would have been staying somewhere. So to rent our RV for um, the uh, 10 days of that we were there, 10 nights basically, 11 days of the 10 nights, was $2,592. So that was our transportation and our housing. Yes, and they had a shuttle that brought us back to the airport, yeah. so we didn't have to worry about that. But had it been, <clears throat> um, had they been open when we arrived, they would have taken us yes. to the RV. It was just after hours, so we had to get a taxi and then we slept in the RV in the uh, parking lot. <laughs> yeah, another big cost savings they have built in, great Alaskan holidays, and I would recommend them. Uh, that's who we stayed with. But they uh, have a service where you stay in the RV the night you arrive. So our flight got in at like 8 o'clock. Some A taxi brought us straight to the RV lot. We went in there. They had our keys hidden for us. And we got right in the RV and could stay the night there. That saved an extra 200 bucks probably in transporting us to a hotel, staying the night in a hotel, unpacking, packing back up, and getting back. And then the next morning, we were ready to go in our RV. So, highly recommend taking an RV if you go to Alaska. You can have lots of free camping opportunities. You can take your fishing gear. They'll rent that to you. Yeah, there was a whole website of things we could rent if we needed to. Mm -hmm. So, that was something that we would do again, definitely. Uh, the next thing on the list, as far as budget goes, that was a big one, was food. So everybody's got to eat. Everybody's always hungry. We like to eat a lot. And meals there are quite a bit more than they were down here as far as what we were used to. <laughs> the first time it really shocked me. I was like, how much did she say? <laughs> so our family of five could go to an, an average diner. So like a little Mexican restaurant or a burger place, something like that. Just an average, average place to eat. And it was anywhere from 80 to 90 dollars. Yeah, and the areas we were at, there wasn't fast food. Fast food was, um, what? Back in Anchorage, they had fast food. I know, but I mean, what was when we ate a uh, chicken? Oh, Raising Cane's. What was the... So, the value meals at Raising Cane's were around 10 bucks to where in Tulsa, so they, were they were around seven fifty to $8. Oh. And so, they were, they were higher, but... Um, but where we were at, we weren't able to eat fast food, which we wouldn't want to eat that every time anyway. Um, so the restaurants type things we were going to were around 80, yeah. you said? Yeah. And so if we would have ate out, which we didn't eat out every meal, it would have been about $240 a day. But we bought a lot of our snacks. We bought some of our food. We stayed with our friends, our friends who also prepared food. a lot and it was amazing. <laughs> yeah. So I'm estimating that if you ate out some you bought stuff and cooked in your RV some that you would probably spend for a family of five about $30 per person per day or $150 a day or $1,500 for the week. So that's what I budgeted out um, on our food was about $1,500 um, is what we ended up spending. The next thing on the list was adventure. So you can't go to Alaska without having adventure, is that yeah. right? Alaska is an adventure. Everything there is an adventure. So even if 
uh, you're going on a hike, it's an adventure. <laughs> like you think, oh, I'm just going to go walking. No, there's going to be something else that makes there's it more. There's work than to everything you do in Alaska. Yeah, they're going to make you work, and you're going to pay for it if uh, you don't have friends like we did. Yeah. So this helped us out a lot. We got to save probably two to three thousand dollars because they had an ATV. They had a pickup in it with a trailer that they could pull that. Um, they had a... They went kayaking or canoeing. Yeah, they had a canoe there on their lake behind their house. Um, we they, went on some hikes. They knew the locals and they knew kind of how to go about our vacation experience without having to go to a vacation service. Yeah, and pay for guides and things like that. I think the one thing we did do was the Matanuska Glacier. Yeah. So we went and paid for that service because um, really it was the only way we could get in. We, tr we tried. <laughs> we tried to get on the glacier. We went in and they said, you guys um, experience and have your own gear? And we're like, we got on hiking shoes. This was Juju and Cassie that went in. <laughs> And so we we knew when we sent them in that they were going to come back out with a number. Like, how much is this going to cost They us? They said they don't allow anyone that doesn't have their own gear or experience. And what are we going to do? Why? Well. We're going to drag a bunch of kids up there, so. <laughs> well, they also said it wouldn't be safe for the children. Yeah. And so they, they, were, in the fields. they were smart on that one because they got Cassie um, worried Which, about the kids. Which, if you saw that video, you saw that the guides were really good and... We wouldn't have known what to do. Well, so and I and I fell with spikes on. So one of our one of our friends had been on a glacier before, and he said with the hiking boots that we had on, you could make it. The yeah. spikes did help more, but we could have made it. But either either way, so we paid for that. It wasn't a big deal, and it was a great experience. So as far as adventures, um, going on some kind of ATV or four by four tour, I think would be a great one. Which we got to do for free. It would have costed us around a thousand dollars for a family of five. Yeah, and then finding that glacier hike that was a lot of fun. I know there are well watching tours and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We didn't really go out that far um, on the coast. Yeah, and so adventures would just depend on where you're at, what you're interested in. You could fish everywhere, mm -hmm. but if you wanted a like a guide or someone to help you or whatever, then that's going to cost. So. As far as adventures go, you just have to look beforehand and see what you yeah. would want to do or find some friends. And if it's just <laughs> a couple of you, like if it's a, a, a couple friends or a married couple and you want to bring your backpack and pack everywhere you go, you could camp and go really cheap. I mean, you know, going off grid. It's just what do you want out of a vacation? On the adventure side, you can spend as little or as much as possible because I feel like Alaska is one of those places... You wouldn't have it to is an adventure. Yeah, you don't have to spend money <laughs> to find the adventure if you don't want it, but with a guided help, you're probably going to get a little more positive experience out of it. So, the adventures, I would range it anywhere from $2,000 up to $4,000. So, brings us to our grand total. So, we budgeted, we went ahead and put $2,000 in is what we would think you would spend on an adventure. So, this is an estimate of how much... It would take for a family of five to go to Alaska. Flights, hotels, food, adventure, all the works, $8,632. Or per person, $1,726. So that number is going to change, obviously, if, if you're a couple and you're renting a smaller RV. and If you're going to eat peanut butter and jelly a bunch. Yeah, if you want to eat. You're not going to go on adventures. Um, really cheap, <laughs> but... For us, also, if you wanted to go less days, so we went, yeah. we went for ten days. Um, it was twelve counting our travel days, but we went for ten solid days of vacation, which was good. I wouldn't go for probably less than five. I wouldn't go from less than ten. Like I, I think, you think so? Yeah, I think ten. I was I mean, gonna say seven, and then I thought maybe I'm just extra. Well, if you're gonna take that long, <laughs> He's really extra. If you're gonna take that long <laughs> flight all yeah. the way up there, and you're gonna put your feet down. And you're gonna get out there because there's a lot to see in Alaska. And I don't. I think if you did anything less than ten days, you'd you be would, rushing it. If if you were just gonna go for like, I want to go see whales, I want to go see bears, I want to go fishing, then that would be different, maybe. Maybe, but I still think you would. Once you get there, you're like, man, I wish I could would have yeah. stayed a little bit longer because I, I don't know if we'll ever get to go back. Hopefully, we will someday. But if say Juju and Patrick moved next year, we probably would never go back. I mean, that was our. <laughs> 
we had a kind of a double purpose. I, want, I still want to do an Alaskan cruise. Yeah, we'll do we'll do an Alaska cruise for sure. Kid free. Yeah, no kids. <laughs> we love our kids, just not on a cruise ship. <laughs> we were supposed to go on an Alaskan cruise for our ten year wedding anniversary. We weren't able to do that, so we have an IOU. An IO it's me. No, an IO us. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, a we owe us. <laughs> is, that, is that how that works? Might be our 20 year or something, but we're going to go. Yes, and we're going to have a good time. We It'll probably be hmm, 15 or 20 year. Probably our 20. What was this year? This year was, I think, 13 years. <laughs> it's too early. 2008 to 21, 13 years. So Let's do 15. We're gonna go back. I don't know. You said we're doing fifty dates, fifty states in five years. So we got a lot to do with the kids. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I want to. I think now, and that's the other thing I wanted to get to. Now is go time for vacation for us. So our kids at the age they are is really a great time to travel because Ransom is coming up. He's four. He's gonna be five years old in September. He's gonna be where he can remember a lot of the things that we're doing now. Does that remember? Does does that mean Disney's in the future? I'm trying. I, I gotta. I gotta talk. Tell to, them your rules on Disney. I gotta talk to Sean and Kevin and Darren <laughs> and some of those guys that have recently went to get my get my. Uh, Tell them your rules on Disney. So Disney World rules: no kids in a stroller, at Heck. all. I don't want to drag a stroller Which through Ransom Disney. Which Ransom could easily rest in a stroller. But. And I want them all to be able to remember it. Because because we're never going back. <laughs> if you're going to spend that much money on fake fun, I wanted to be able to remember it. So Alaska is real fun. Yeah, Alaska is real fun to me. <laughs> it's not fake fun. Like it's an adventure. It's it's a land, God's country that He made for us to enjoy. And Disney. This is a land. Is Disney a, land. Disney is a corporation that made <laughs> a land for people to enjoy. So I'm I'm not dead set against it because the I kids could, I could care less I just like pestering you about it the kids want to go Cassie wants to go someday we'll go I've been twice I, I'm good let us know <laughs> is it worth it so give us a uh, I went as a college student playing volleyball my college team went well the first year I was playing volleyball the second year I was coaching at the college but we went and we had one day to go to all of the parks and so we would go in find the roller coasters and get out so i didn't have a real disney experience um i was also 20 and 21 i don't know but anyway i mean i could care less if i ever go back but the kids think it's going to be life-changing so let us know is it life-changing or should we continue to do these real adventures as Gary calls them. Give us give us a thumbs up. Disney thumbs up or Disney thumbs down. If if you think that we should steer clear, then give us a Disney thumbs down. Oh. Yeah. If you think that Gary should how many, cave how many and go to up? Disney. No no no. How no, many thumbs no. up when we start planning our Disney trip? We're planning it. That's why I'm I'm talking to the people oh. that have went recently. I'm getting that number in my head. Well you so, saw Dutch yesterday. Did you talk to him about it? You know I didn't get that far <laughs> because we have more important things to talk oh, about. Okay. Yeah, like when he's going to come be a guest speaker on Catching Up with the Walkers. I think we've got him booked for next month. Oh, yeah? No, not really. We're going to need a, a bigger room. <laughs> Might get grow, kicked out. We'll have to grow the set. Oh, and some of y'all realized we switched seats, uh, what was that, like two videos ago? Yeah. Gary I, wanted to throw you guys off. It was, we were about to push play, and he's like, switch me seats. I'm like, why? I, I like this side. I, wanted, I felt so weird over there the I, whole time. I wanted to see if anybody would say something. They did, of course. I just like to mess with people a little bit. Sorry. Sorry. Anyway, squirrel. Are we finished? So, that's... <laughs> That was our price for Alaska. I, would, I like how you matched me today. I would go Adler Farms. No, we are yeah, green. Yeah. Oh, I did have my. That my, was so sweet of you. Uh, route 66, farm on Route 66. Good people. Now, some Adler people Farms, say Route 66. It, it's Route 66, like a Route 44 at, Wal at Sonic. It's not a Route 44, is it? Well, I don't know. Probably <laughs> depends what part of the country you're from. Some of these prices route. That that song says, "Get your kicks on Route 66." Don't say on Route 66. Okay. I don't know. I'm with you. I mean, I say Route 66, so I'm with you. But some of them might not be, and that's okay. And 
50 states. That So let's go back to that. 50 okay. states in five years is still on. What state are we hitting this month? We're, we're not going to state every month. <laughs> we have a whole year to get to 10 states. Oh. And we're going to knock out some closer ones this year. Okay. Like we got to get, we're already in Oklahoma. We've done uh, Alaska. We've done Texas. Wait, no, we didn't stay the night. Yeah, we did. Because we flew into Texas that night and oh, then we flew out. That don't count. We'll, we'll do you Texas. You said we had to do an adventure or something yeah, yeah, yeah. for we it to will. count. It Not, was, you can't just drive through it. Trying to find food in Dallas Airport was an adventure. <laughs> no, we will we'll we'll do I'm, I have a goal of ten states this kind of this year, but it's okay. a full year. So okay. give us time. We're gonna get there. You don't I wanna like, rush it. I like to go places. Well not all at once though. Let's slow down. <laughs> well let let's rain some get a little bit older. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, I know we might not have covered everything, but if you have questions about Alaska and our trip that you saw, you can rewind and back and um, get catching up with the walkers. We did a couple vlogs while we were up there. Also Walker Farm Fam, we have a ton of adventure there. But leave questions down in the comments because we want to share the knowledge that we gained from our short trip with you guys if you're interested in going. I would just say I learned that school failed me and they did not tell me how big Alaska is. It is ginormous. Now which coach did you have for geography? <laughs> Easy now. Yeah. Um, but a lot of you would message us and be like, you guys need to check out so and so. They live in Alaska. Or North Pole. North Pole, to, Alaska. Yeah, or try to hit these people. Every person that we looked up, I wouldn't, shouldn't say every, 99% of the people we looked up were like six to eight hours away from where we were like traveling three hours to be or whatever and so it would be like another six like it is so big i never realized that and it's whenever, like this big on the map <laughs> whenever we uh if we go sometime without kids in the future i think we could put some more miles behind us but because yeah you and patrick are talking about how long it would take to drive that yeah, way and this way like we wanted to drive the denali highway um but it was too much with it was kids. like over 100 miles of dirt road and with the kids there's no real services on that road like no no real um, restaurants or anything. Yeah. And it would have been a long trip and it was snowing, so we didn't yeah. want to do that. But I think if once the kids get older, we could probably put more miles behind us, but who knows? Especially as they age and um, we want Find to go. Find friends and don't want to go on vacation. Well, we want to go oh. further. Or bring friends on vacation. Yeah, yes. or we want to go further on our trips just out of Oklahoma, Yeah. then we'll be able to. So there you go. Questions? Let us know. So a little catching up with the walkers. Our last video, you saw a bully that we have here on the homestead. Oh, PewDiePie uh, is wreaking havoc around the goats and the, um, the livestock guardian dog, Xena. So his life on the farm might not be much longer. He may be going to a goat sale or we may have um, a different route to sell him, but he will probably be gone. Two, twofold. One, breeding season's almost over, so he's already bred the big does that we needed bred. And two, uh, long term, as far as keeping a buck, we could just separate them, but long term, I want to get a smaller buck to keep, even if we want to separate them, because I just don't want a buck that large. Yeah. Also, we had the runner duck video with mm -hmm. the chainsaws. So, as you can see, we still have a garden. The runner ducks didn't um, destroy it. I saw them today underneath um, where the cucumbers are, underneath the vines going for stuff and all picking right. out all That's what I like to see. I was. Uh, That's where the bugs are at. They like to get down in there. Yeah, I wasn't able to run over in video. I don't remember what I was doing, but they were down in those vines. I hadn't seen them back there. Um, they did like to eat the leaves off the pepper plants, um, but other than that, they haven't really messed yeah, with anything. The marigolds that we got oh, from yeah. the Max, um, they sent us some marigolds and they a lot of the leaves off of them, but... We just planted those for bug purposes anyway, yeah, and just um, something different in the garden. So they're doing good. Mm -hmm. They're still in there. We'll kind of keep you guys updated as we go along. As far as future videos coming up, so Ranger is off to church camp this week. Sad. Cassie's shed a couple tears. <laughs> I don't think she shed any yet. No, I'm not really sad. I just keep thinking, where's Ranger? Oh yeah. Um, so he's at church camp for the first time. 
And the first time he's going to be away from us for this long, like we've gone on vacation and he stayed here with like my mom or yeah, Gary's mom or for something. For a cruise but, for about seven days. Yeah, but he was here and with family. Mm -hmm. This is the first time he's gone away with none of us. He's with um, church members who we trust, obviously, but um, he's not with us or at his house. So it's going to be a good thing for him. It's only three days, like three and a half. Um, so I've gotten pictures. He's having a blast. But uh, the coming up video will be about that and a surprise for him. Yeah, we're working on a little surprise in his room while he's gone. So when he comes home, um, hopefully we'll have it ready. It's something he's been wanting for his birthday, which is July 18th. Yeah, this, so it's coming this seat up. is killing me. Oh, the seat's killing Cassie, so we got to wrap this up. <laughs> um, but Rangers, uh, we've, I told Cassie, Ranger's such a good, good boy. Um, we've uh, had a great time with him and... He has just learned or grown into such a fine um, young man, and he is going to do great at church camp. So I don't have any real worries. You're going to make me cry if you keep talking. Okay, so. I won't talk anymore. I'll be quiet. <laughs> I mean about that. Oh, okay. But yes, we don't have any real worries um, other than he's a boy, but he's going to have a blast. Um, as far as praying... Uh, we have any prayer requests specifically? Yeah, just the just again, just keep your eyes down in the comments um, for prayer requests as they come in. I know that we've had some praises this last week. Uh, people coming home from the hospital, um, so we just want to give praise for that kind of thing. My um, aunt is continuing to do well. She's going to be at home very soon, Aunt Joyce, and um, just. I was, I was going to say coming up July 24th is the meet and greet in Sulphur. And a lot of you guys will be traveling um, to Oklahoma for that. We'll be traveling, what, three hours? Yeah. Um, so um, praying for safety for you guys and for us and for other YouTube channels that will be um, going to that event. And we're excited to meet you guys um, and be able to shake your guys' hands and tell you thank you for your support. We just hit 18K over at Walker Farm Fam. And we truly appreciate it. So um, we'll be praying for you guys as you make your journey to Oklahoma, wherever you're coming from. I know some are driving, some are flying. Um, and that you have a great stay and a great time and then a safe travel back. So if you don't know about the YouTube meetup, it's July 24th in Sulphur, Sulphur, Sulphur? Sulphur, Oklahoma. Sulphur, Oklahoma um, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So you got all day, whatever works out for you. And we're excited. And Brandon to, and Stephanie at Rustic Woodwork and Family are putting that on, I should say. Yeah, we're excited about that. Brandon um, has been doing a lot of planning. He's got the event center taken care of, and it should just be a great time. And uh, it's going to be air conditioned. That's you don't get much better than that in the middle of summer in Oklahoma. <laughs> I mean, if you can get an air conditioned event, sign us up. Yep. We'll we'll be there. So we want to thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with us. And we hope that you have a blessed week this week. And just remember those prayer requests down below. We will as well. Um, we'll be praying for you, and we appreciate all your prayers. You guys have a great day. We love you, and God bless.